Hey, I'm Mr. Williamson. Today we're going to talk about water right after this. All right, let's get started. Number one, it is an organic compound, meaning that it contains no carbon. Now, obviously, we're going to talk about um, organic compounds later, to actually probably the next lecture. But having no carbon basically means that it is H. 2O. So water actually looks kind of like um, this is a hydrogen and a hydrogen and then the two oxygens are like that. So that's the, the molecule of, of water. H2O. Two hydrogens, one oxygen. But that also means that it has a positive area and a negative area. Like we talked about when we um, talked about covalent bonds. Covalent bonds are where electron atoms share electrons. So uh, and, I, and I demonstrated this in class earlier. Water, two hydrogens, one oxygen. The electron is carried... Oh, let's try that again to back that up. Um, the electrons are pulled from the hydrogen more towards the oxygen side. Okay? Um, because hydrogen only has one, so they're sharing. All right, so this area becomes real negative, and these areas become positive. Because when you take away a negative, an electron, from the hydrogen area, it becomes positive. <clears throat> so, and when you add an electron, or in this case, two electrons, to the oxygen side, it becomes negative. So you have a negative area and a positive area. All right? Um, here's a picture of uh, water droplets in a, on a, a spider web or, or cobweb or something like that. So the question I have is, what causes, what causes that water drop the why does it form that ball all right that's what we're going to take a look at first here here's a picture of um the, on the top a a waxed car or a partly waxed car the left side is waxed the right side has just paint and it has no wax why is it that um the side with the wax all the little the water beads up and yet on the side without the wax it just it sheets out it just it spreads out all right, same reason. The same reason that you have the water droplet here is the same reason that you have the wax bead up over there. Let's talk about it. Water has a real strong attraction between each molecule. In other words, each molecule that looks... That should be an H. That's an H. That's an H right there. All right. Um, each of the, the attraction between that molecule and another molecule of water is real, real uh, strong. So this, this, this bond right there is a real, real strong bond. Okay. It also creates a root, this thing called surface tension. Um, and and it, it's the, the attraction between those molecules are, is called cohesion. Cohesion, meaning that it is, adheres to itself. All right. And it's this, this, this cohesion that causes uh, water to heat up so slowly and so quickly. An example, uh, or cool down quickly, um, slowly. Let's try that again. Water heats up slowly and it cools down slowly. Um, when you have a pot, a, a metal pot, and you put it on a stove, like a gas stove in particular, the metal heats up really, really quick. But when you put water into that pot and you heat it up, the metal will heat up, but the water doesn't. Not as fast. It also doesn't cool down as fast. The reason is because of the bonds, the, the hydrogen bonds. And like I said, I'm not real strong on hydrogen bonds, but there's a bond between the hydrogen and the oxygen right here um, that you can see. The hydrogen bond um, that keeps them real. The, the attraction is real strong. It's pretty easily broken eventually, and it's not as strong as the covalent bond up here. But it is... Um, strong enough to, that it tracks the molecules together, all right? Which is why you see these little, those balls. Why does it have that, that, that spherical shape? Why does it form a ball? Because without anything else to attract it, the water is all being pulled in to the middle. And when you pull something into the middle, it pulls into a sphere, all right? Um, it also has this real strong surface tension. It's called, it results in capillary action. 
because of adhesion, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Surface tension or, or capillary action, excuse me, capillary action is where, uh, and you've probably seen it, you put a straw or a tube into an open uh, uh, water, like here. You can see right here the, the, the surface of the water is um, open to the air. So you have the air up here. And you have, so you have pressure, the air has weight, and it's pressing down on it. But it, the, the, the water in the tube goes up higher than the surface area there, the surface there. Why? Because of the cohesion of the water attracting each other. So as it adheres to the wall, which we're going to talk about in a minute, as it adheres to the walls, it actually pulls itself up to the top, or up the tube. How far up the tube? That depends on the thickness of the tube. Because as you're going up the tube, you have to, um, you have to pull this weight. Water has weight, all right? There is, this, is, this has mass right here. And we have to figure a way, and we have to, to be able to pull that water up the tube to the point where the amount of weight of the water is pulling down with the same amount of, of if effort that is being pulled up the side. Okay, and that's why you have this, the meniscus, which we talked about in unit one, because the center of the tube is being pulled down, but the sides are being pulled up. How far up? The thinner the tube, the farther up it goes. All right, if you have a really thick tube, like the one on the right, all right, it doesn't go up very high. It goes up right there. If you have a, a smaller tube, it goes up higher, and if you have a really thin tube, it goes even higher. And this is why trees, like a redwood tree, can get its, its water from its roots up over 350 feet to the, to the top, the top of the tree. It's through capillary actions of the cells of the tree. Um, and it's due to the cohesion, adhesion uh, factors, all right? You can do this with, it's, uh, with, with the paper towels. You can do this at home. Um, that's why paper towels work, capillary action. The paper towels have fibers. When you put the paper towel on top of the water, on top of the liquid, which most liquids we use at home are water-based, when you put a paper towel on a liquid, the water is drawn through capillary action, the adhesion of the water to the fibers of the paper towel and they pull themselves in okay and cohesion pulls the rest of the water up with it so and and this is just an experiment where uh, or demonstration where they have taken a paper towel and they've put uh, blue uh, water here and red water there and when you put the paper towel oh i gotta find a better color than that when you put the paper towel here and here the capillary action will take it over and mix the two together and you get this purple all right and you can you can do that at home it's just you know take a a, a a two glasses you don't even need food coloring put one water in one glass put the paper towel over into the other glass and let the water come and it probably will continue until this these two water levels are the same because at that point uh you don't have that the water is not being pulled anywhere it stays where it is so, but that works because of capillary action. Capillary action works because of uh, cohesion, the attraction between the water molecules, and adhesion, the attraction of water to the other the surfaces. Which now we can go back and take a look at why does it beat up, <coughs> excuse me, why is it beat up on wax? Because on wax, down this area here, there is no attraction of the water to the wax. The wax is, is the, the formula of wax uh, doesn't allow the water to, to adhere to it. So it, there's, it's cohesive. The water just beads up into pulling itself into a ball. Whereas the paint, the water is actually pulled to the paint. The water adheres to the paint and actually spreads out. So that's why if you wax your car, the water beads up and it rolls off. Whereas if you don't wax your car, it sheets out and it stick, sticks to it. Here, this video, I don't know if this is going to work. Um, how exciting. Oh, it did work. All right. Here we go. Today, I'm going to show you a really cool experiment with water and ground black pepper. Start you can do this at home. Plate. I like to use a white one like this and pour on some water. You can tell this is real science because he has an English accent. The water, like this. You can see the pepper sits on the surface of the water, and if you dip your fingertip in, nothing really happens. You might get some pepper stuck to your finger, but that's about it. 
Next, take some washing up liquid and wipe a tiny amount on the end of your finger, like this. Then try dipping your finger into the water again. As you can see, the pepper seems to magically shoot away from your finger. You can also uh, just rub your finger on a bar of soap. It would work the same. So here's what's happening. The pepper sits on the water because of the high water surface tension. The water molecules are strongly attracted together. When we add a little soap, we break down this surface tension and the top layer of water molecules very quickly spread out and carry the pepper with them. Pretty cool, huh? And if you use less pepper, they're able to spread out even further. So what we're seeing here, make that go away, sorry. What you're seeing here is when, I don't know if this is going to work. This is new to me. I've never added a video to this. Um, when you touch the, the, the water, the, the soap here, the water, the, 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 the surface tension, the tension between the, the, the water molecules pulls the pepper out to the side. All right, because the soap breaks those hydrogen bonds between the water molecules. So when you break the hydrogen bonds, the water is pulled to the side because that's where the water is being pulled to. You haven't broken those bonds. And as the water slides, that surface slides that way, it moves the pepper. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links on the right hands. Yeah, we're not clicking on the links. This is another one you can do at home. Maze your little brother and sister if you've never seen this before. Works something like this. Um, all this because surface tension, cohesion, adhesion. And it's got good music. When you put the paper onto the water, it's the surface tension that keeps it from sinking. And this is new. I, when I found this video, I didn't know you could do it with a leaf. News to me. And I thought this was kind of cool too. Surface tension does the same thing. Pulls the water, that pulls the uh, food coloring to the side. The reason that boat worked is because the hole right there. When you put the soap right there, it breaks the surface tension back here. So all the, the, the water surface tension in this area is broken. So that releases the pull on this way. It takes that away. And so now the boat's pulled that way. It's pulled towards the surface area because we broke air all the surface area in this area, but we didn't break the surface area in that area. All right? All right, hopefully you took good notes. Um, make sure you, you uh, answer the questions at the end of the video, which are coming up pretty soon right here. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask, ask them. Um, that way I can address them in class and we can make sure you understand this. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. See you in class.